All right, what is going on, everybody? This is William from No Talent Gaming bringing you some Elsword today. It's great to have you all with me. I actually saw this game on Steam Greenlight, and it kind of got me a little interested in it, so I thought I would check it out. And uh, so basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go through here. I'm going to tell you what I think about the game, tell you what I found out about it. I'll find it is a free-to-play MMO. And so I'll be going over the business model that they use and everything like that. It's going to be more or less our first impressions of the game. And just let you see a little bit of gameplay and see what the game has to offer. So uh, what we have going on here is uh, it's got... In some ways, it's a very standard MMO setup, and then when you get into the combat, it's drastically different. As you can see, it's 2D, cel-shaded graphics. It's a pretty game. Uh, don't get me wrong there. I do like the way that it looks. Um, as far as like graphics and stuff go, if for some reason you couldn't handle it, um, I mean, obviously you can mess with the sound, hotkeys. It actually has its own recording, which is really, really cool. Uh, I really, really do like that. That's kind of neat. I'm not using it, but I mean, I'm just saying it is, it is there. Um, it's got your like little survival guide on and off, is down right over here, and um, I don't really need that. Well, I'll show that to you guys real quick, and then I'll turn that off. Um, and then for the graphics, you can go through here and mess with all of that. Um, I don't know why anyone would do this, but you can even switch it to chibi mode, where everyone becomes these little tiny things here. And just runs around, <laughs> worried this direction, angry this direction, worried this direction, angry this direction. Oh no, am I on my... Anyway... And, um, I'm going to turn chibi mode off there. And so, uh, let's see here. So, I mean, it's got, at least it has some graphic options, which is nice. You got your character select, servers, security pins. Um, it's actually running a thing right now because they're on Steam Greenlight. Um, I'm sure we'll come across it at some point, but there's constantly, like, little advertisements like, Vote us up on Steam Greenlight! Go check us out! And which, I mean, it's not a terrible thing to do since it is a free-to-play game. I'm one of those free-to-play games. Ooh, what do we got here? We have events. Um, see, now what's weird about it is you move around with the arrow keys, which is okay. And you can move your mouse around with the mouse. Um, but all your attack and action buttons are like ZXCASD. So it has some kind of clunky back and forth between the mouse and the keyboard. Which you can lose a lot of that. I mean, I can still mess around with the mouse, but it just doesn't, or with the keyboard, but it just doesn't feel as intuitive. But that's okay. Information board, we have a quest, complete quest. Oh, yeah. So I've already played a little bit, as you can see. Um, all of the dialogue is, I mean, there is no dialogue, like spoken dialogue. All of the talking is done through these images here and then right at the bottom of the screen. I'm just gonna skip through all of it. No one really cares about the story, usually, in these kind of games. Um, let's see here, and I got another mission going on, okay. So, then, let's see here, and then your queue is going to bring up your quest area, you got your story quests, and then you have your standard quests that you can take. Uh, and then there are daily quests as well, which I'm going to show that to you guys, because I actually really enjoyed that. Um, so far in the game, the game's kind of been a cakewalk. Um, I'm assuming it gets much harder as you go on, but... It's so far been incredibly easy. I also just unlocked the uh, multiplayer deathmatch, which I think I'm going to try while I'm here with you guys and let you see what that's like, because I have not tried that yet. I just unlocked it before I started this video. Now, down here at the bottom, uh, there's the item mall, which I will get to that. I'm not going to open it because it just connects me straight to their website, and I just don't feel like dealing with it. Um, but, you know, basically you pay money, put points onto your account, and then use those points to buy in-game items. Um, then you got your community, your party, your current quest thing. Then you got your skills. Now, uh, the character I went with, his name is Raven. He's one of, I think, five different characters you can start with. Um, there's this archer chick right here. Then there's uh, all these people right here. These are like the main dude, Elsword. Then there's um, this dude with a huge arm he's a little kid uh i don't know if you can is that him just decked out and stuff i think it is and then of course we have the um android chick who uses these little drone things um uh, which i have not seen a lot of her really enjoy this dude i've been playing with he's just all brutal melee combat stuff and i've been enjoying that but uh back to the skills for the skills here what we're looking at is it's pretty neat 
I actually like it. I still have two SP remaining, and then uh, I've invested 18. Uh, and then at 20, I'll unlock the next area, which is right here, uh, which will give me new abilities. So, like you can see right here, the abilities use mana, and then they have a cooldown time. Now, the mana isn't exactly mana you have. You kind of get it from whipping ass. So, that's kind of cool. I do enjoy that. You gotta kick ass to be able to kick more ass. So, that is pretty enjoyable. And then it goes all the way down here. Now, all these different active abilities, um, you can switch between A and B, but um, there's not exactly the greatest tutorial in this game, and I'm not sure how to do that, so I could have more skills on here at once, but I just do not know how to do it terribly. That sounds awful, but I don't. Let's go ahead and switch that out. I did have this uh, cannon blade attack where you fire this huge blast in front of you and it goes pierces through enemies. But uh, I'm going to try the Burning Rush because that just uses so much damn mana. And I leveled up my Maximum Cannon all the way, like right off the bat, and it just annihilates everything. I mean, I can take bosses out like nothing. So then um, I've invested in increasing physical damage offense, and I'm going to get some magic damage offense. Um, and then, you know, just different stat increases, increase your physical attack power. And then, of course, different things, increase physical attack power again. Then, um, for the actions, it shows you, like, your different combos that you have here. And what they end up leading to. And then you go through your jump moves, your dash moves, your dash jump moves. Which, uh, I mean, I'll show you all that. Like, there's my moves, there's my dash, there's my dash jump. So, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. And then you just use Z and X to do your basic attacks. And then A, S, D, C are going to be your special attacks. So, um, right now I'm actually in a, like, look for party type area. And, let's see here. Well, let me show you guys the city I just got to, which is, the first city you go to is really just this little tiny area that you just run back and forth and there's a few people to talk to. Um, but I'll go ahead and show you the big city. And actually, before I do that, let's just real quick, they do have a guide to the game. Um, where... It's just volume one, apparently. There's going to be more. I don't know. But um, anyway, you just like look through here and then see whatever you want to do. Um, and then just click on it and it'll tell you about it. It'll tell you about crafting. Um, it'll tell you about enhancing items or your bank. You can store items there and different things like that. Actually, I should probably go finish going through this real quick. Here's your inventory. Um, I kind of don't like that there's not an all inventory, but I get it because each thing has its own number of spaces. And then for these, I'm guessing you pay for them. Um, but you got, like, uh, consumables, accessories, equipment, which is going to be, like, your swords and different things like that. Um, as you can see, my currently equipped sword, which would be on the right side, uh, is substantially better than the other sword that I just recently found, because I happened to find a very awesome sword early on, which was really nice. Then, um... What else do we have here? And then there's the sword you start with. Is this it? Yeah, the Kobo sword for beginners. Uh, so I jumped up from 360 to uh, 1,274. Then I actually have a plus one ancient sword because you can upgrade your weapons. You can socket your weapons because I've socketed it. It's got accuracy, attack speed, and HP uh, from the socketing. Then if I bring up my character over here just so you can see. I mean, you can rotate him. Boop. Um, then you have actually costume weapons, and then that's really what my weapon looks like that I am currently using. And um, normally I wouldn't leave the costume on because I actually like the way that sword looks. But for this uh, costume, it actually gives you a whole bunch of additional effects. Um, and then I get to use this for the next 20 hours. It was like a gift for starting the game out. And then there's the sword I got. Um, and then you have different accessories that you can equip. Now these are mostly cosmetic. Um, is what I thought. Uh, it turns out they're really not. Uh, they do do cosmetic things. Like, I have this little adventurer bag on here. Actually, I think I got a new one. Physical attack plus two. Trade impossible. Well, my attack is really high. I don't need to worry about that. So I'm going to stick with this. Um, but anyway, like, I got a little thing on my back, which is not normally there. And then you have, like, costume outfits that you can put on. Um, a lot of this is what I started with, uh, except for, you know, my equipped items, which is all red giant shit. Uh, which I got the weapon for, but I just do not care about at all. Uh, just nowhere near as good as my current weapon. Then, what else do we have here? I've gotten items for our other people's classes, too. What's this? 
Complete recovery potion, 100 HP, I will take that. Put that down, oh yeah, right down here you got your quick bar. Again, three of them are locked. Um, so then we have our quest items, our special items. Now for the special items, there's like the locked wooden box. Let's go ahead and open that. I do not have a box opener. I wonder if you have to pay for those with ka which is their money system. Then, of course, we have the stone that improves armor and defense. I'll actually go try to enhance my armor so you guys can see that. And then the magic stones are what I put in my weapon. Uh, I might actually be able to do it with other stuff. Let's try it out, just so I can show you guys exactly what's going on. Um, item socket. This is one item socket. Okay, so here's how you do it. You just grab this, drop it in there. Can I not do that? Let's try it again. Drop it in there. There we go. And we'll equip it with that socket. It costs a little bit of ED. Um, I'm not exactly sure what ED stands for. I know it's your basic money that you pick up throughout the game. Um, but 115 is nothing, as you can see down here. I got 49,000. That's practically nothing. So we'll go ahead and do that. And boom, Evasion plus 7. It's pretty straightforward. It's simple to use. Um, but with all the stats and everything, as you can see, there's a decent amount of depth to the game. Um... But then we'll get to the how how much depth the combat or the combat has after that, and then we can get pets too. I've seen people running around with them. I do not have one. I'm actually well, that person has one right there. I do not have uh, a lot of stuff. I'm on a low level server, so I can't see a lot of great things. Like, well, you're you have one server, and then the server is split up into sections for different levels. Um, but like here, we can talk to this dude. Oh God, jig dang, bugaba. All right, and let's see here. Let me go ahead and unquip this and see if I can go ahead and enhance it. So I want to enhance that, and then I have an armor enhancement stone. I've already used my weapon one. So we'll go ahead and pop that on in there, and plus one red diamond stone, or red diamond stone, you know Red giant stop piece, so it's uh, it's very straightforward. That is one pissed off looking man. Look at that face. Even his mustache is pissed off. Ugh. It must be hard to be a smith or whatever the fuck he is. So let's go ahead and close that. Get out of the store, which so far in the store they've not been able to sell me anything that I haven't been able to find yet. So the importance of the store I'm not so sure about yet, but I'm sure more things will come up. Actually, I'm going to turn off that guide real quick now that I showed it to you guys. I just do not care about it, and I don't remember how to turn it off. Survival Guide, there we go, F12. Okay. And But anyway, this is the city. There's a lot of platforming in this game, even in the city. Um, to get to different places, different shopkeepers and stuff you can talk to, different things you can look at. Um, different places to go, whether you go up or down, seems to take you to different locations. So, um, it's actually pretty decently large. Uh, but we'll go ahead and show that to you. See, and there's even another level. So, ooh, event items. Sure, let's talk to you and see what's going on here. The Kobo and blah, 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 blah quest. Oh, wow. I'm not going to get into that right now. So, back it out. And uh, we'll go ahead and go see if we can get into a dungeon or something here and uh, get some action going on instead of just all this drivelous talking. So let's try to join a hard party. There aren't any. So we're going to make one and see if someone joins so you can see what it's like when you're running around with other people. Um, since it is 2D, you're just going to be running, you know, side to side. And let's see here. Is anyone going to join? Well, you know what? I'm going to cut away, and I'm going to cut back when so Never mind. Level 23, seriously? I don't think we need level 23 to go through this on hard. Whatever. Let's just do it. It's going to be... It would have been easy anyway. I could have done it by myself. Uh, but I just wanted to show it was like with other person. So you're going to see a high-level person and what they can do. I like that revolver. Alright, so this is just my Z attack, which is like my light attack. And then uh, I do have my heavy attack, which is my claw. So let's go ahead and... This person's really not doing that much damage for being this level. Uh, then you have air attacks, uh, depending on whether you're running, jumping, or dodging. Honestly, the controls on the keyboard are a little bit sloppy feeling. 
But, uh, you know, do what you can. So let's show you some of my abilities. So let me get to the boss here so I can actually do some. Oh, uh, well, screw it. Here's my A. And that's the thing I leveled up. It pretty much one-shots most things, except for bosses. And then I'll go use and use it on the boss just to see how much damage it does. See, I, I took half its health. Uh, the mini boss with one attack. And then uh, up at the top left, you're gonna have my health bar and then my mana bar, which is filling up as I attack things. So I showed you my A ability. Let me show you some of my other stuff when we get to this next area. And there we go. Taking forever. There we go. I do really like the art style, though. It is a cool art style, and the game is fairly action packed. Don't get me wrong. Uh, it's just got a few kinks to it. Uh, the fighting is more or less just hitting the same thing over and over and over again. Uh, but anyway, here's my C move. It's like a dash combo. And he's dead. So, well, there's one of my moves. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's a whole run. That's a whole, like, dungeon type thing. And that's that's it. So, not a lot to it right there. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and jump straight into some more gameplay so you guys can see something by myself, so you can see a bit more of a challenge. Alright guys, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to Henry's Time and Space. Now this is the daily quest. Um, I was going to do it on challenge mode the first time I was going through it, but uh, that would have been a horrible mistake. So we're going to do it on normal. Uh, we're going to create a party, see if anyone joins real quick. Uh, you know what, I'm just going to do it by myself so you guys can see what the combat's like by yourself. Uh, it'll give me a little bit more time to explain some things. Now, I honestly did not really get that into the game until I got here. Now, what I like about this is it actually is a challenge. It's like a boss run. It's like boss after boss after boss. So, this is the first one, which is just this little rat dude, and he was like in the very first area that you start in. And this is another one of the bosses I already fought. Uh, but yeah, it just goes through all the different bosses in the game. And uh, he has some special attacks. Let's see if I can get you to see some. I don't know what he's about to do. Oh! Forgot. Outside of this, it warns you what he's going to do, but it doesn't in here. Uh, let's try my D move here. Okay, so I just dash. Can I keep dashing? Okay, so I can dash as much as I want. It's like 40 mana a second. And he's dead. So, there's that. <laughs> um, I might jump ahead right here to some more powerful bosses. Okay, so now we're, we're through the first area, that's it. Now, what I can do here, because it's like the daily challenge, you can do this three times. Uh, I can quit and take whatever item I'm going to get, or I can keep going and see if I can live long enough to get a better item. So, for the sake of this, I'm going to keep going. Last time, I got my ass kicked, uh, but I'll show you what happens when you die. So, we'll go ahead and keep going here. And they really love having you smash down doors. It's really an anti-door population. Um, uh, I don't think it's this... Actually, this one's a little bit harder. I will, I will say that. Uh, they just start to get so much health. Last time I did this, I swear to you, there were not two of these. Or three of these. There was only two. Um, so that might make this a little bit more challenging. So we'll see how this goes. And we'll get all three of them with that. And we'll kick some ass right here. Oh, oh. And get all three of them again. And one's almost down. Get them all again. Two's down. See, even with three of them, there's just not much that they can do to kill me. So, again, we're still going, and I've lost a quarter of a bar of life so far through all these bosses, so we'll see what's next. There are these two robots that come up, and they whip my ass. These guys whip my ass a bit. So we'll see what's going on with these. Oops, that was not what I meant to do. Yeah. Um, just they, They're hard to knock over sometimes. And so you kind of got to keep dodging and moving. Um... Oh, and they hit behind themselves. No oh, shit. Yeah, I might die in this fight. Oh, don't know what that was. And we'll go ahead and pop a heat. Oh, I didn't get the heal on time. Okay, so here's what happens when you die. I don't know if you get these every day or how often they last. You get resurrects. Push C, you're right back alive, right where you were. 
and it's like nothing ever happens. So the game doesn't exactly have a huge level of challenge to it, um, as you can see, but it is, it's entertaining, I will tell you that much. And maybe the PvP is really where it's at in this game. So, you know, I can't judge a book too quickly, but you'll see. And we'll go ahead and do that. And some of this. But yeah, that just leveling that up early, just ridiculous. Oh god, the damage is just insane. And he's dead. Okay, so that got a little bit harder. I did die. Um, one of them by themselves would have been easy. Two of them was really hard. So now these are the guys that just destroyed me. I think I had to use two continues to get through them the first time. Probably getting in the middle of them isn't the best. Now, oh, oh god, I can't get out. I can't get out. Okay. And I don't know if I can knock these guys over. Oh my gosh. Run! But I can do quite a bit of damage with that. See, it starts to do a lot less damage. Uh, but it's still a good amount of damage. Like, I can stand here and just tank whatever they throw at me and just get up and keep going. Oh, 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 that's a lot. Maybe I spoke too soon. Uh, oh, he walked right into that. That was nice. Um, but yeah, it does kind of like... It's not a freeze frame. I don't know if it slows down the enemies or what, but they kind of don't react when you use your special abilities. I honestly may not even... Oh yeah, I'm going to have to use a... Re I'm going to have to use a continue here. Uh, because, like I said, you know, you're probably watching this like, oh, these guys aren't too bad. Uh, they get worse. So let's go ahead and take down the other one. All right, they're both down, and you're like, oh, yay, victory, woo, I won, ha, 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 uh, And then they turn into these things. Now, the other things are so easy to kill. These guys are not. They got lasers, they've got invulnerable moves. They really become a huge pain in the ass. Oh, 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 I want to get out of here. Oh. Yeah, but, like, oh, oh. Oh gosh, it's getting it's getting bad. It's not looking too good anymore. But yeah, look how little damage I have done to them, and I've just oh 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 oh. But yeah, it doesn't matter how much you run away from them. I would run away more, but it's they chase you down and they laser the crap out of you, and they end up taking more damage running. But let's go ahead and run out of here. Let's pop my potion, get a full heal. And do they have mana? They do have mana. Oh, run out of it, please. Oh my gosh. It's sorry. It's hard to talk and play this at the same time because it's getting intense. Uh, which is what I wanted out of the game. I wanted it to be intense the whole time, but it's just not this intense the whole time. Ooh. I don't want to be quite this intense. Oh, maybe like the last battle? Uh, would be more manageable intent. Um, but as it stands, this is ridiculous. <laughs> uh, but apparently they have a guard and a block, which if you get it through, you do a lot more damage, which it's mostly when they go to attack you. Uh, you do more damage. So we're going to try to focus on that for the moment. And I think I got them with that one. There we go. I'm going to focus on the almost dead one. And I might actually not have to use a continue in this, so it'll be nice. Oh, 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 god! Oh! Run, 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 Oh! Oh, keep running, keep running, keep running. Okay, there we go. I got the weak one. Oh, oh! Okay, one's down. And now it's only this one left. And I think I can take him without having to die. It's going to use my potion. Oh. But yeah, I got the five potions when you first start the game, and I've never used them until... Oops, wrong button. Never used them until I got to this point. Um, to playing like the daily challenge. And there we go. 
Okay. And there we go. I don't think I can go any further and legitimately live and escape. I almost want to go so you guys can see me shamefully die. Uh, but, but I'm going to go ahead and walk away while I can and get my items. So there we go. If you guys need to see me die more uh, in future videos, just let me know. And I'll make sure I work it in by overstretching myself and ensuring death. Um, but yeah, there we go. So there we go. That's the challenge mode for the daily challenge, which was my favorite part of the game so far. And now we're going to go and try some verses and see what we think about that. Oh, and here we go, guys. This is the arena. So we're going to see how it's going on. It just came out of nowhere. I'm waiting for like 20 minutes. Oh, so we'll, we'll see what's up. Oh, I'm actually kind of nervous. I don't want to get my ass handed to me my first time. It doesn't look like I'm going to based on what's going on here. Oh, there we go. Some counterattack. Oh. There we go. This is this is going to be over soon. But yeah, it's like I had to wait for so long to get in on this. But I, I, I would say it would be pretty cool in 3 versus 3, which they have 2 verse 2 and 3 versus 3, but I waited for 25 minutes in 3 versus 3, and I did not get into a game. Um, so, ooh. Um, but I waited for 25 minutes and didn't get into a single game. Uh, so hopefully... Um, you know, it probably would be pretty sweet with that many people. Um, however, what is this person doing? I mean, come on. I, I feel bad. Let's do this. Come on. Come on. Alright, whatever. Uh, but anyway. Um... <laughs> that was fun. Okay, yeah, this would actually be pretty cool in 3 versus 3. I gotta admit, it's fun fighting a human opponent. Um, but yeah, apparently you rank up as you're going through it, and then you go against more skilled players. You also get arena points, which you can use to buy equipment, items, consumables, all kinds of stuff like that for the arena to go into other arena matches. Let's see if I can get into one by... Just some random act of God, and um, well, I'm talking here real quick, and then uh, if not, we'll just go ahead and wrap it up. So, the last thing I wanted to talk about uh, was the kaching, uh, the business model, uh, which is what a lot of people are going to be wondering about when you're playing a free-to-play game. What is the business model? Is it pay to win? How important is it to spend money? It's debatable on this one. Um, it. I would probably know more if I was further into the game. It's hard to tell at these low levels. However, I can tell you right now that if I had money, I would be at a huge advantage that I am not currently at. Uh, the amount of stuff you can buy with cash is ridiculous. I mean, it is just downright crazy how much stuff you can buy with cash. Um, I mean, you know, there's cosmetic things where you can get, like, hats and costumes and stuff like that. Uh, but then it goes so much further as, uh, I know I saw one thing that, uh, I think it's the Archer Girl that Elsor just walked on top of, this Archer Girl right here. She actually has an upgrade to her character that makes her, she's like a ranger, it makes her a trap ranger. Uh, and it costs cash to do it. Whether you can do it in the game or not, I don't know. But I just, I don't know how I feel about how, oh my god, there's another arena match. I don't know how I feel about how driven the game can be by money. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and play this match, and then I'll keep talking about Kaching. I seriously waited for 30 minutes and got nothing. And now all of a sudden I'm getting into games left and right, so that's weird. Um, but, like, you can buy I you can buy weapons, uh, you can buy things that last, you can buy, like, a short-term version that'll last for a week, or you can buy a long-term version that'll last for, a, a, you know, I guess it's forever. Um, again, you know, everything's not super explained. Awesome, my dude looks sweet, so hopefully he's gonna kick some ass. Um, and let's see here. Oh, wow, these people might be in trouble. 
Um. Oh. Um, but yeah, anyway. Um. Oh, wait, can I get this? There we go. That's some damage. Oh, 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 I don't know what's going on. This is a madness. Elsword is sweet, though. Maybe I should have played Elsword. Um, but yeah, anyway, it's incredibly driven by money, it just seems like. And I just don't want to deal with that. Um, let's get him out of this fight. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh my god! What level is he? That was like 20,000 damage! Holy crap! Jesus Christ! Oh, uh, but yeah, anyway, oh my god, the damage on that was just crazy! Oh, 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 it's time to move! It's time to move! Oh, oh, oh! Oh no, I gotta avoid that. I gotta avoid that. Okay. Oh, he does not want to die. Oh, combo that. Oh, that was a lot of damage. Okay, got a giant's potion there, apparently. Uh, yeah, there are a lot of, like, little pickups, it seems like. Oh, God, it's just hard to tell who's who in this. I mean, good lord. Oh, 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 this is not good. Um, but yeah, <laughs> this is actually really intense. Um... Uh, oh, I think we're, we might be up one. No, we are, we are losing big time. Oh, I gotta get out of here. Oh, I'm done. I am just done. Oh my god, these people are out of my league. Like, good Christ. Oh, I don't know if I can do anything about this. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, come on, come on, come on! Holy crap! No, come on, come on! Get out of there! Get out of there! Oh, 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 oh! Oh. Oh, wrong thing. Wrong dude. Okay, my guy's got the green light thing above him. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, if we could just kill this guy. Oh my god, if I can just not die. Oh my gosh. What is going on? Oh my god, come on. Come on. No, 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 no. Okay, come on, baby. Come on, we got this. Oh, what happened? No! Oh my god, did we win? No, we lost. Did we win? Oh my god, we won! Holy shit! Dude. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, the shining highlight of this game may in fact be the arena. That was pretty awesome. I really enjoyed that. I can't believe I did not completely lose. Uh, but yeah, I like you can see in the left corner, people are just selling gold and shit on here. I like that. I hate that shit. Um, but anyway, that was that was intense. I don't know what I was talking about. I apologize if that was just a couple minutes of silence. That was too much for me. Um, but yeah, anyway. Um, so that's... Uh, oh, lag spike. Horrible, horrible lag spike. Oh, come on. What's going on? Anyway, screw it. That's Elsword. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, don't know what's going on with my game here. Um, down to like 10 frames per second. Um, but anyway, uh, the ka I'm not sure about like the pay, the whole paying thing. I don't know how it's exactly working. 
it does seem like you get a pretty sizable bonus from paying, but that might change at later levels. It might just be something to help you get started, because they do give you a lot of stuff to help you get started in this game. But either way, go out, play it. It's free to play. You can download it off the website. Uh, it's Greenlight on Steam, so you can go and check it out there. Greenlight it. It'll be on Steam in no time. And uh, thank you guys very much for joining me. I, it was a blast, and uh, I will see you guys next time.